What's up guys, it's John and this is Project Broadsword, my 50 Beowulf AR-15 and it needs to be cleaned. I've been shooting it a little bit suppressed, working up to a review and now uh, obviously it's a little bit filthy. So, products we're going to try today are Tech Shield Elite. It's a dry lubricant and it also is a cleaning agent. So we're going to combine that with the Hops Boar Snake, the 50 caliber Boar Snake and we're going to see how it does. I've used the Tech Shield Elite on a couple of my pistols just to see how it feels and it actually is really really slick. It's interesting being that it's a dry lube because you're so used to oils and wet lubricants that this is a little bit of a departure from that. But uh, anyway, we'll see how it does on the 50 Beowulf and uh, let's get to it. Got a nice little Delrin takedown tool. Helps on rifles that you don't want to mar up the pins. Just give a little tap there. Hey, look at that. Okay. Apparently the bolt wasn't all the way home. Very tight fit on that. I'll set the lower aside. That's not all that dirty. Let's take a look at the bolt carrier group. Now this is nickel coated. You can see it's quite dirty. It is kind of a dull uh, coloration to it normally, but you can see on the front end and underneath it's, it's pretty dirty and that mainly comes from running suppressed. Okay, let's take the charging handle out. You can see that's kind of dirty, especially in the front. And inside the receiver, you can see again, dirty from running suppressed. Okay, first things first, obviously you can't clean a bolt carrier with a boar snake. It doesn't really work that way. So we're gonna try the Tech Shield Elite on the BCG and we're gonna use some brushes and, and we're just gonna see how it does. Okay, let's go ahead and liberally douche this. And guys, normally when I clean my guns, I, I literally just shower them in rem oil. So, you know, I'm not the, the super particular kind of guy. All right, let's give this a little bit of a brushing and see how this works as a cleaner. I know it works okay as a lube. Let's see how it works as a cleaner. Now, when I bought this bolt carrier, I was told it was nickel boron, but it doesn't have the same finish as any other nickel boron that I've bought, so I think whoever sold it to me may have been full of duty caca, but it works okay. You know, whatever. Well, that's coming up pretty nice. Got some funk coming off on the brush, you can see it there. And this is without, of course, disassembling the carrier group. Okay, let's give her a wipe down and see what we're working with as far as what's coming off. We got some funk coming off for sure. Oh yeah. And we're, I'm, you know, I'm going to give it a little bit of a better cleaning than this in just a couple seconds. Preliminary funk coming off. Pretty good. That's doing well. Okay. Let's see if we can wipe around the bolt a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, that is, that is really, really grimy. We're all in here, it's just, it's thick. It's thick. Let's see, where's that pick? I'm gonna take one of these plastic picks that I have and just kind of scrape it around and show you guys how dirty this really is. Okay, so that's just a couple quick scrapes. That's what's coming off of there. Yeah, okay, let's disassemble this and uh, really clean it. You know, this probably doesn't even have 500, 600 rounds through it, and this thing is freaking filthy. Let's give that a little spritz, let that soak a second while we wipe down these other parts. Okay, that's coming pretty clean. Not quite as good as the carbon cleaner, but again, that carbon cleaner from Slip 2000 is like a soak cleaner. You know, you're supposed to let it sit in there and all that kind of stuff. This was just spray on and, and rock and roll, and so far that's, that's doing pretty good. All right, so there's a little bit of staining up front on the firing pin, and it doesn't look like I can scrape that off. So I may just give that a little spritz, and we'll come back to that and see if it loosens up a little bit. Now, the retaining pin, that should just wipe right off. Yep, that wiped right off. Nothing left on there. Set that aside. Cam pin, that's going to be pretty dirty. Again, this is a, uh, a nickel boron setup, or so I was told and it should wipe fairly clean with a reasonable cleaner and yeah that's coming up pretty good 
All right, let's pay a little bit more attention to the carrier itself. Now, because I've been running this on a suppressed rifle, it's going to be a lot dirtier than your average. And it's gonna require a little bit more of attention. Scrub that real good. Get in behind there. Honestly, in a direct impingement gun, filth can just hide everywhere. So you wanna take some time and get it clean. Now guys, this acts as a lubricant, so I honestly, I don't need to do anything besides what I'm doing right now. I don't need to come back and lube it after this. It's already lubing it during the cleaning process, which is kind of interesting. You don't normally run across cleaners that do that. And it is, like I said, it's a bit strange because it's a dry lube, so you don't see that slickness that you would normally see. Okay, so... Carrier itself is clean. It's got a little bit of staining on it, which I'm not really worried about. Again, it's dry lubricated with the Tech Shield Elite. Clean the face, clean the inside. Good to go. Okay, now, cam pin's good. Retaining pin is good. Let's pay attention to this disgusting bolt. Now, it's gonna be difficult for you guys to see, so I'm gonna try and clean this brush. That's from before. Let's see, all right, so you can see about how dirty it is. You know, a little bit dirty. Let's spray some more on there so we can get it all off. And you're about to see how dirty this bolt really is. Yep, look at all that, just coming off of there. All right, let's get in here and clean the face. Check the brush again, yep, still pretty dirty. All right, let's give this bolt a wipe down and see what we're working with as far as what's coming off of here. That's pretty damn dirty. Okay. Face is still a little dirtier than I would like, so we'll we'll spritz that. We'll spritz the outside and give it a brushing. Let's flip this over so we can have a cleaner surface to work on and see what kind of progress we're making for the viewers at home, of course. Not too bad. Not too bad. Coming up Coming up nice and clean. And, uh, you know, not, not a shit ton of application there. You know, as far as the amount that I'm applying to this. It's not a, a ton, but, um, you know, you don't normally need a ton of that. All right, let's make sure that both face is clean. We're going to take a pick around the edges. And just make sure that I got all that funk out of the edges. There's a tiny bit in there. Make sure it's clean under the extractor because that's a difficult area to clean. And these picks help with that. Okay, that's that's about as good as it's going to get. Now, again, it is lubricated. It is a dry lube, so we'll go ahead and put our bolt carrier back together. All right, time to get the bore snake out and clean out this upper. They say that this is supposed to be used without a cleaner. And... Uh, I don't know that that's necessarily true. It does an okay job like that. I've seen gun shops use it like that. But uh, I prefer to use a little bit of uh, little bit of something. Okay, so we got the Tech Shield Elite. The purpose of this is to drop this brass weight down through the bore and then pull it through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray inside the upper. Make sure we got everything that could possibly need it. And again, this is a lubricant as well as a cleaner. So we've got a little bit going down through the bore. Make sure we got it all the way down in there. Yep, starting to come through. So I know I got plenty through the bore. And again, guys, this is just, this is gonna wipe out with this bore snake, so Gonna go ahead and drop the brass weight down through there. We got it in there. We got the weight came through just like that. So what you do with a bore snake, literally super, super easy. You just pull it through. Go in here. Okay, we'll slide it back in there. And it does require a little bit of effort the first couple times because again, your gun is dirty and full of crap. Let's see. We've got some obviously dirty spots on here. This thing's getting a little roughed up because it was getting caught. And uh, these aren't designed for ARs, but we're gonna try it, okay. Okay, so we're gonna drop it down through again and run it through a couple more times and we'll see just how clean we can get it. You guys saw how dirty it was at the beginning of the video. 
and we'll see if we can remedy that. And we're pulling. We're giving it some, I gotta give it some oomph. Gotta give it a little something to get it through there. It's tight. You know, this is designed for 50 and 54 caliber. So I would assume that's why it's probably a little bit oversized for this bore. Let's have a look-see. I know you guys can't see this. It actually looks really, really nice and clean. But we're going to run it through, make sure we've got it uh, nice and cleaned out. Run it through one more time. Let's take a look. You can see the thicker part is a little bit dirty. And you know what? I'm going to spray this down because that last part actually coats the inside of the bore. We're going to spray it down with some Texio Elite and give it a good coating just to make sure it's properly lubricated. Okay. Brass weight through. Set our upper up on here and start working it. Again, I don't want to scratch the outside of the receiver, so I'm going to put those brass or uh, copper brushes down inside there. There we go. Pull it through. Don't be a bitch about it. And there we go. So, our bore is clean. We'll give it a look. Looks absolutely fantastic. So we got the bore clean. Now we just got to clean out the inside of the upper receiver. We're going to give that a proper douching. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to use my fingers and maybe some brushes to get inside there and clean it properly. All right. Looks like it's doing an okay job in here. Again, the nickel really, really helps with cleaning. That's why nickel boron is so popular. It's because, you know, it, it stuff does not stick to it that easily. Let's give it a wipe down real quick and just see where it's lacking, where it needs to be cleaned a little more. So that's looking all right. Wipe down inside there. Let's see. Whoo, that's dirty. That is dirty. All right. Let's go. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the Slip 2000 video. I'm going to roll up a paper towel and I'm going to shove it in there. And uh, I'm going to try and clean the inside of the receiver like that. And this might not be the proper way. It probably isn't the proper way. But nobody ever taught me, so uh, I figured that out on my own. And that seems to work okay for me. Now, the Tech Shield guys told me when this stuff first came out, when I had first heard of it, I talked to one of their reps, and they said that in this, in the field, this could be used as an expedient lubricant, meaning you do not have to wait for it to dry. Ideally, you wait for it to dry, but it will work wet if absolutely uh, need be. So it, it, it can be you know kept in your range kit. And I have used it in situations where other people's guns have failed and needed to be cleaned, and I had to come to the rescue. The, the top of the chamber is actually a little bit dirty, but uh, the bore itself is good. We'll give them that. The bore snake is good on that. Uh, I probably need a 50 Beowulf chamber brush, and honestly, I don't have one yet. So I'll get one of those, clean up that chamber a little bit, but for right now, it's good to go. Um, let's put it back together and see how smooth it feels with the Tech Shield Elite. I'm going to go ahead and clean up real quick. So let's go ahead and rack this thing and see how she runs. I'm going to put the muzzle up inside there. Oh yeah, that feels real slick. Definitely can tell it's cleaner now and can also tell it's got some lube on it. All right, so let's wrap this up. Today we use Tech Shield Elite with the Hops 50 caliber Boar Snake. Boar Snake did okay. Not a perfect job, but it's not really intended for that. I think it's just a quick and dirty quote unquote kind of tool and it worked okay for what it is. Tech Shield Elite did a pretty good job. Obviously, it's really, really slick. Uh, I think I said that before, but I like how slick it is. As a cleaner, it does an okay job. It's not great. There are, there are definitely better cleaners than that, but as a CLP, it's a good product, and I think you guys should check it out, especially for an interesting dry lube. It's slicker than most wet lubes, so I, I think that alone uh, is worth a shot. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it the old thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And of course, as always, guys, thank you for watching.